Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, starring the entire Nelson family. Here's Ozzie. Here's Harriet. Here's David. Here's Rick. And also starring in tonight's episode, here's Chris. Tonight's Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet is brought to you by your gas company, with pipeline companies and gas appliance and equipment manufacturers. For dependable comfort and modern convenience, gas makes the big difference. Cost less, too. Imagine being able to say, if dinner has to be late, it still tastes great. You can. This meal has been kept warm for hours and nothing has overcooked. I'm Jinx Falkenberg, and the secret is a new gas oven. It has true low temperature controls, exclusive with gas. And you get broiling that's faster, smokeless, cooler, because the door stays shut with gas. Here's cooking that doesn't scorch or boil over. It's yours automatically with the exclusive gas burner with a brain. This new beautiful double oven finesse gas range by Brown doubles your cooking space. Both ovens give you true keep warm automatic controls with flexible gas. And the floor and racks come out for easy cleaning. Get it at your gas company or dealers. For clean modern cooking, gas makes the big difference. Costs less too. Uh, our story tonight is about three photographs. I'm sure you know who this is. This is uh, Harriet, of course. And I'm sure you know who this is. Uh, this is uh, Chris. Now, uh, this girl, I, uh, I don't even know her name. <laughs> sure is pretty, though, isn't she? Uh, these three photographs are, are the basis of our story tonight. It's called the desk photo. We hope you like it. Well, looks like everybody's out to lunch. Yeah. Rick? I'll be right with you. Sounds like Rick's voice is changing. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Nelson. Hi, Connie. Hi, Chris. Hi. What can I do for you? Oh, we were just in the neighborhood and thought we'd stop past and say hello to the boys. Oh, I'm sorry. They're both out to lunch. Oh, I guess they didn't know we were dropping in to check up on them. Oh, they should be back in a few minutes if you'd like to wait. Oh, no, that's okay, thanks. It wasn't anything really important. <sighs> Excuse me, I better answer that and look busy. Nice picture of June, isn't it? Yes, it is. I think she gave that to Dave for his oh, birthday. Sorry, right wait a second. No, What's the matter? I want to make sure of something before I start sounding off. Bye. How do you like that? Rick doesn't have a picture of me on his desk. Well, he probably hasn't gotten around to it yet. But David has a picture of June on his desk. Well, don't forget, she gave it to him. Besides, Rick has a picture of you on his desk at home. Yeah, and you know how old I was when that was taken? Sixteen. Well, why don't you have some new ones taken? Surprising. Well, there's an awfully good photographer right here in the building on the second floor. Say, that's right. He took our Christmas card pictures one year. Does Dad have a picture of you on his desk or someplace? Yeah, it seems to me he has a picture of me. Well, he used to. Let's both go get our pictures taken. Oh, hi. Hi. I've got a surprise for you. You mean dinner's ready? 
No, something else. And if you're not nice to me, I won't tell you what it is. Okay, what is it? You're not very observing. You're wearing new perfume. That's the roast. <laughs> what is it? Look around. You waxed the floor. I did not. No, I guess you didn't. Well, what is it? I may not tell you. Come on, I'm just beginning to get interested. Okay. I've got it. You're Patty Duke. <laughs> it's very nice. What's it for? What do you mean, what's it for? It's for you. It's for you, desk at the office. Oh, good. Don't you like it? Yeah, of course I do. It just kind of surprised me, that's all. David's got a picture of June on his desk. Yeah, I know it. And I'm going to put this on my desk. It's very nice, and I like it. You don't sound very enthusiastic. Well, what do you want me to do, jump up and down? It's beautiful, you're beautiful, and I love the picture. You're sure now. Look, I'll make a new entrance, and we'll start all over again. <laughs> Hi. Hey, you had your picture taken. It's beautiful. Now, where is it? I hid it because you hate it. You hate it? I like it. Come on, give it to me. You hate it. I do not. It's beautiful. Well, where is it? See? Beautiful. Now, how about some dinner? You hate it. It's beautiful. I'll give it to you. Hey, what are you doing out here? Well, I can't find the dartboard. Have you seen it any place? No, but I haven't been looking for it. I've been looking for you. Oh, well, I'm right here. <laughs> Where's the dartboard? I don't know. What do you want it for? Well, I, I found these darts over here, but I have nothing to throw them at. Uh, do you think maybe it might be up in the attic? I haven't the faintest idea. Would you be interested in the little surprise I have for you? Uh, you're overdrawn at the bank. No, it's possible, but it isn't what I had in mind. Here, take a look at this. Oh, it's very nice. What is it? What do you mean, what is it? It's a picture of me. <laughs> I, I, I know that. I recognize you right away. Uh, I, uh, what's it for? It's for you. Don't you like it? Oh, yes. It's very nice. Thank you. I thought maybe you could put it on your dresser or your desk or someplace. Uh, well, yeah, well, you just uh, gave me a picture for my dresser, didn't you? Uh, just a little while ago? You mean the one where I'm holding Dave and Ricky on my lap? <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I guess it was quite a while ago. You don't like it, do you? Yeah, yes, I do. It, it looks just like you. It's beautiful. Thank you. Hey, here's an idea. Now, uh, five points for each of the eyes. Ten points for the nose, and two points for each of the teeth. You're leaving kind of early, aren't you? Yeah, I got a lot to do this morning. Do you have everything? Yeah, I think so. I have to stop by the fraternity, and I have to take these papers over to Judge Willoughby. You sure you haven't forgotten anything? Oh, yeah, thanks for reminding me. I almost forgot these contracts. I have to take them over to the office. And you haven't forgotten anything else? Not that I can think of. Something that's worth a thousand words? Hey, that's right, your picture. Where is it? Right here. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. You were going to forget it. No, I wasn't. I couldn't find it. You had it hidden behind you. Why don't you admit it? You hate it. I do not. Now, come on, give it to me. Maybe I should have worn my hair differently. I think it looks great. I'm going to take it down to the office and put it on my desk so everybody can see it. And my keys. Hey, where's the picture? Put it in your briefcase. You were going to forget it again. I'll see you later. Aren't you forgetting something? Well, you, you said you put it in my briefcase. Oh. <laughs> hey, Wally. Oh, hi, Rick. Hi. I, I need those lecture notes you borrowed from me last week. Oh, yeah, just a second. Hey, Dick, I gotta have those lecture notes back. Hey, Jeff, I gotta have those lecture notes back. Hey, Bob, I need those lecture notes back. I hope so. I'm in kind of a hurry. Hey, here's something I need. Ginger? No, no, I mean the frame. Can I borrow it? What for? Well, I'm in kind of a spot. Chris gave me a picture of herself for my office, and I figure the sooner I get it in the frame and on my desk, the better. Well, I suppose I could rent it to you. How about five dollars a week? Hey, wait a minute. Wasn't this my frame in the first place? Oh, really? Well, then how about 50 cents? I just need it till I can get another one at the store. Well, okay, but don't run off with Ginger's picture. 
Hey, who's this? Oh, my gosh, I forgot all about her. I doubt that. Who is she, anyway? Oh, just a little girl I knew slightly. Somehow, I don't think Ginger cared for her too much. Well, you better take her, too. <laughs> oh, no, no. She's all yours. <laughs> well, I'll give you notes. Oh, thanks, Dink. Here you are, Rick. Thanks. I better get going. I gotta stop off at Judge Willoughby's and then get over to the office. I'll see you guys later. Okay, okay. take it easy. See you later. Where's the frame? I loaned it to Rick. What for? I don't know. I think it has something to do with getting married. <laughs> married? <laughs> Hello? Hi, Mom. Oh, hi, Chris. How's everything? Oh, fine. How's everything with you? Oh, fine. I was just wondering how Dad liked the picture you had taken. Oh, I think he liked it okay. How did Rick like his? Oh, about the same. He hated his, too. <laughs> I'm afraid that was Ozzy's reaction. Rick even forgot it when he was leaving this morning. If I hadn't put it in his briefcase, he would have left it at home. Well, you're lucky. I'm not even sure Ozzy still has mine. Well, I don't know what it is. Maybe I didn't have the right hairdo. Well, I thought yours was a beautiful picture. Thanks. I thought yours was beautiful, too. Hey, I got an idea. Next time, we'll give the pictures to each other. <laughs> hi. Oh, hi, Rick. Hi, Rick. Hi, Dave. Did you drop those contracts off at Judge Willoughby's office? Yeah, he wasn't in yet, so I left him with the secretary. Thanks. Oh, by the way, Chris called. Oh, does she want me to call her back? No, she said if she had time, she might drop in a little later. Oh, that figures. What do you mean? Well, she wants to make sure I have her picture on my desk. Yeah, I don't see it. I've got it in here. She had it taken especially for my desk, so I better make sure it's here when she comes in. Well, come on, let's see it. Got so much stuff in here. Hey, wait a second. Where's the picture frame? What picture frame? Well, I stopped off at the fraternity and borrowed a frame for the picture. Hey, I'll bet it's in that folder I dropped off at Judge Willoughby's. <laughs> Boy, you're really mixed up. What time did Chris say she'd be in? Sometime this morning. Gee, I better get a hold of the judge and see if I can get the picture before she gets here. I'm calling him now. Uh, judge Willoughby, please. Rick Nelson calling. Uh, thank you. Line two, Rick. Hello. Uh, thank you. She's getting it. You know, I can remember when we used to practice law around here. <laughs> Hello, uh, Judge Willoughby? It's Rick Nelson. Oh, hi, Rick. Say, I'm glad you called. I found a picture here that must belong to you. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, that's why I was calling. It's a picture of my wife. Really? This is your wife, you say? <laughs> yes, sir. She had it taken so I could keep it on my desk here at the office. Oh. Well, that could be quite an inspiration to you. <laughs> yes, sir. If you'll just leave it with your secretary, I'll be right over to pick it up. Oh, look, maybe I can save you some time. I have a business appointment right over at your building in about ten minutes. Why don't I drop it off for you? Well, gee, I'd sure appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Oh, that's okay. Glad to do it. <laughs> Who is that, may I ask? <laughs> my dear, it's Take it. your time, and it had better be good. Oh, this is my dear, believe me. Uh, this is the wife of Rick Nelson. Uh, he's a law clerk at Dobson and Kelly's. Oh, come on. You can do better than that. Honest, honey, I just found it right here in this folder. Believe me, I wouldn't lie to you. Honest, I'm a judge. <laughs> Mother, my teeth, they're so bright. Surprised? Well, I thought that new toothpaste was just for fewer cavities. Uh-uh. Q does reduce cavities, but it also helps keep your teeth naturally bright. Sure does. Some toothpaste. Introducing new Q reduces cavities effectively, helps restore the natural whiteness of your teeth, too. Fewer cavities with Q and regular checkup, sensible treats, after meal brushing. Q's exclusive Floractin formula gives you today's most effective cavity preventive, plus a pure white brightener. Mmm, tastes great, too. New Q, tested and proved effective for reducing cavities. This statement on every Q tube signifies that Q has been recognized by the American Dental Association's Council on Dental Therapeutics. Mom, my teeth are so bright. Reduce cavities effectively. Help restore the natural whiteness of your teeth, too. Brush with new Q. Come on, Judge, come on. Do you think we ought to call his office and see if he's left yet? Relax, will you? It's only been about ten minutes. I just hope he gets here before Chris does. I'm sure he will. Look, I hate to interrupt your domestic problems, but do you suppose you could start doing a little work here? We well, don't expect me to concentrate on anything now, do you? I don't expect you to do any thinking, just a little work. Where are those contracts you took home last night on the wall tomorrow, Merger? Oh, they're right here. Uh, I want you to avoid them. I'm going to have to drop some new ones. Okay. 
Don't throw them away, though. Just stamp Boyd on each page and put them in the file. I may have to refer to them later. Okay. Connie? Yeah? You think he's got the right address? Oh, sure. He's been here several times. How you doing? Okay, I guess. Gee, I wonder where the heck he is. I don't know what you're so worried about anyway. What's the big deal? Well, it's just that I wasn't too enthusiastic about the picture when she showed it to me last night. And this morning I almost walked out of the house without it. So if it's not on my desk, she's going to think I don't like it. Well, do you? Of course I do. <laughs> Great. Is that the picture? Yeah. Well, I thought it was over at Judge Willoughby's. Well, so did I. But I guess she must have slipped it in with the contracts. Morning. Oh, oh uh, good, good morning. morning, Judd. Well, here's your picture, Rick. Oh, uh, thank you very much, but I think this calls for an explanation. Oh, I wouldn't say that. You have a very attractive wife here. I'd like to meet her sometime. <laughs> well, she comes now. Uh, this is my wife. This is Judge Willoughby. How do you do? How do you do? Oh, I see you got a frame for my picture. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, have you seen the picture Chris gave me? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Gee, this is uh, really something. Oh, come on now. Uh, uh, Connie, uh, have you seen this? It's uh, Chris's picture. Oh, yes. Very nice. That's the dress I wore to the dance last week. Oh, really? <laughs> an idea. I'll bet you're hungry. Well, a little. Would you like some lunch? Well, yeah, I guess so. Well, look, I've got a lot of work to do here, so why don't you and Connie go out and have lunch together? Yeah, that sounds great. Okay. How about the terrace room? Yeah, that sounds good. Now, have a nice time. Thank you. Naturally, it's on the expense account. Oh, yeah, sure. On his expense account. <laughs> Thank you, Judge Willoughby. Oh, thank you. Same to you. Goodbye. I imagine you're wondering what this is all about. No, no, no. That's all right. I'm sure whatever it is, you'll handle the situation discreetly. Actually, this picture belongs to a friend of mine. Oh, Rick just got the pictures mixed up. No, oh, please, gentlemen. No explanations are necessary. If the case comes up before me, I'll disqualify myself. <laughs> Long, Judge. Bye, Judge. Well, at least so far you've managed to survive. Now what? Well, the first thing is to get rid of this picture. I hate to do this to you, but it's for your own happiness. Not to mention yours. Now what? Well, get another print of the picture. Who's the photographer? Well, I don't know, but his name should be on the back. On the back of that picture? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Pop. Oh, hi, Rick. Want to play some golf? Oh, no, thanks. I, I wanted to ask you something. Mom gave you a picture of herself, didn't she? Yeah. Do you know where it is? Yeah, it's right here. Brought down to get a frame for it. Pretty nice, huh? Yeah, it sure is. Do you know where it was taken? Uh, Lee Studios. That's right in your office building. Yeah, thanks a lot, Pop. Uh, Rick? Uh, you could have saved yourself a trip. Why don't you ask Chris? She had one taken at the same time. Well, it would have been kind of embarrassing. See, I burned it up. You burned up Chris's picture? Yeah, it was an accident. It's kind of a long story. I'll tell you about it later. Uh, Rick! <laughs> this is ridiculous. Uh, what happened to your mother's picture? You're standing on it, Pop. Oh, no! Shh. It looks like you've been throwing darts at it. <laughs> I hate to rush you, but uh, tomorrow will be too late. It's got to be today. Yeah, right now. All right, let's see what we can do, Mr. Nelson. Well, uh, I I'd sure appreciate it. I didn't do too bad here. 
Five points for the nose. <laughs> You're in luck. I found a couple of extras. Oh, great. If you don't mind, Pop, I think I'll just grab mine and run. Okay. I'll see you later. Is a sneaky way to get the old man to pay the bill. <laughs> time too. They're right behind me. Get this out of sight, will you? What's that? Oh, great. It's a picture of Mom. I must have picked up the wrong one. <laughs> I just did my day. Hi. 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 We had a wonderful lunch. Yeah, I'd like to eat there every day. Well, I guess you want to get on home. I'll see you tonight. Wait a second. Where's my picture? Well, it's uh, right here. Looks just as good as ever. Sure does. Uh, here, uh, let me have that. See, I think I'll put it right here. <laughs> About. I mean, what was Dad doing with my picture? I got this new frame for it, and I want you to be surprised. Oh, I am. It's very nice. It's a beautiful picture, isn't it? It sure is. Thank you. Well, I guess everything worked out okay after all. Well, almost everything. Oh, great. <laughs> hey, where are you going? Right back. <laughs> now, now, close your eyes. I've got a little surprise for you. A surprise for me? That's right. Now, close your eyes. I have here a picture of the most beautiful girl in the world. My sweetheart. Ah, don't open him yet. And the most interesting part about this is, she's been framed by her own husband. Can I open him yet? <laughs> no, no, uh, 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 not yet. Keep closed now. Surprise! Oh, isn't that nice? Beautiful picture, beautiful girl, and a beautiful new frame. <laughs> I'm Jinx Falkenberg, and this is the New York World's Fair. It's the most comfortable fair ever. 80% of the fair is air-conditioned by modern gas. For example, the Port of New York Heliport has perfect climate by gas. The spectacular Ford Motor Pavilion over there is gas air-conditioned, too. So is the General Motors Futurama. And the United States Pavilion. And the Bell Telephone Building. And, of course, the exciting Festival of Gas. Why did the leaders of American industry choose gas air conditioning? Because gas is more dependable and more economical. America's finest homes and businesses are installing year-round heating and cooling by gas. Let your gas company or contractor show you how you can live modern for less with gas. In just a couple of minutes, uh, Rick is going to sing for us. Uh, before he does, however, I thought you might be interested in a little incident that happened during the filming of tonight's show. Uh, remember the scene where Rick decided he'd better burn Chris's picture? Uh, we we'll run it again just to refresh your memory. I hate to do this to you, but it's for your own happiness. Not to mention yours. Get another print of the picture. Who's the photographer? 
Well, I don't know, but his name should be on the back. On the back of that picture? Yeah. Uh, uh, that's the way you saw the scene in the picture. But uh, just as we were about to shoot it the first time, somebody suggested that maybe the photograph wouldn't burn. So just to make sure that it did, they sprinkled a little lighter fluid in the wastebasket. So this is what happened uh, on the early take. Uh, believe me, it was quite a surprise, especially to David and Ricky. I hate to do this, but it's for your own happiness. <laughs> Not to mention your happiness. Now what? <laughs> and the moral of that story is don't sprinkle lighter fluid in the wastebasket. <laughs> well, uh, here's Rick to sing for us. Tonight's Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet was brought to you by your gas company. For dependable comfort and modern convenience, gas makes the big difference. Costless, too. Ask us Nelsons.